Hi Libras, this is your March 2018 bonus reading and you did have a jumping card this month. God is in charge, okay, um, is the card that fell out of the deck for you. And this card says, Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Okay, so what this card is telling you, Libra, is that if you're going through something, you know, if you're going to pray about the situation, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, God is in charge. It's in God's hands and, you know, let him handle it is what this card is telling you. Okay. The next card that I have for you is new beginnings and a fresh start. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. Okay, so what this card is telling you is that even though you went through some um, trying times and maybe a turbulent or toxic situation this month with a um, love partner or an ex-partner, this card is telling you that you will have um, a chance for uh, new beginnings and a fresh start. Because the cards that I see in your reading um, was very interesting because it seems like things are turbulent and toxic and all over the place in the beginning and then in the end things start to come together for you okay um and this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every libra out there but for some of you things are going to be really rocky really all over the place um you're going to be going through a lot of issues with a partner and then things are going to start to um come together okay and this could be because of mercury retrograde okay because whenever mercury is in retrograde like um things seem a lot worse than they really are okay okay and then the next card that i have for you is believe and trust before going to sleep tonight say archangel michael please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust let me be filled with strength courage and confidence Okay, so what you're asking to do is to believe and trust that things will be handled for you. Okay, so if you have any doubts, um, let faith and trust be your best friends and try not to stress or worry about the situation. Okay, all right, so those are your message cards, Libra. So I'm going to put these over here and then we're going to get into your reading. And the cards are already pre-shuffled. Okay, and the first two cards that I have for you is the queen of swords and the ten of cups reversed so i'm just feeling like this is either your energy libras or some of you are dealing with another um air sign such as yourself a libra a gemini or an aquarius okay and some of you this could be um, a marriage situation or just a long-term relationship that you're in okay and you notice that the ten of cups is in the reverse because there are some issues there's some um drama some disappointments okay you may be going through something with your husband or your wife or or um a partner or an ex-partner but i'm just feeling like this is something whereas you know um you've been going through it for quite some time and you don't see an end to it okay um but also with this queen of swords she's like a no-nonsense type of person who you know you may have been going through something but you're like okay before i come up out of this i'm going to get to the bottom of it i'm going to find out what the story is and um i'm going to see you know what's going on because it's like with this queen of swords person it's like she likes to um dig her hands right in cut through the bullshit okay and find out especially if someone's deceiving her she wants to find out who it is and what's going on and i just feel like some of you um have that type of energy this month and if it's not you it may be your partner that's feeling this way um about you libra okay but something's going on um with this ten of cups because this is the family card it's it, it is in the reverse so i'm just feeling like this is for some of you a family situation um like i said it could be a marriage where things are less than ideal right now um and there's some issues okay yeah see the next two cards that i have for you is the six of pentacles and the three of cups so i'm just feeling like for some of you not for all Keep in mind, this is a general reading, but for some of you, you are definitely dealing with a third party situation, okay? So your partner is definitely given to two people, okay? There's two people here. So it's like, it's your partner and then it's two other women. 
or it's your partner and it's two other men. Okay, um, you know, apply it however it fits to your personal situation. But with the Six of Pentacles, this person thinks that it's okay for them to give to two people, you and someone else. Okay, um, some of you could be dealing with a with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, um, and or some of you could be dealing with a Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But you're in a third party situation, and with this Queen of Swords being here, you're like, oh hell no. Okay, yeah, I might be in a third-party situation, but I'm going to find out what's going on um, right here, right now, okay? And I'm just feeling like some of you, your, your gut and your intuition is telling you something. And it's like you can't sleep at night because you're trying to figure out, like, what the hell is going on here? You know something's going on, okay? Because your partner um, is not acting like they, use, like, you know, like they usually act. So it's giving you um, an indication that things aren't right, okay? The next card that I have for you is the Ten of Wands. So, you know, this is a burden for you this month. Like, you have a lot going on for some of you, and you don't have time to deal with the extra drama. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. And it's like, you have a lot on your plate, and then you have this third-party situation that you're dealing with also. Okay? The next card that I have for you is the Nine of Swords. Okay, um, and this nine of swords is also paired with the devil's card. Okay, so with this nine of swords, I'm just feeling like you're sad, you're lonely, you're depressed, um, and you're feeling like you're chained or trapped in this toxic situation, Libras. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn because this devil's card is uh, the Capricorn card, um, and it's the energy of someone who's very abusive um the relationship is is a toxic situation it's not good for you and when i say abusive it doesn't have to be physically um it could be mental abuse okay mental or physical abuse that you may be going through with this partner and this is how it makes you feel okay not a good feeling yeah see the next word that i have for you is the seven of swords so you're feeling like somebody is being sneaky okay somebody's being sneaky um, they're hiding something, they're trying to get away with something so you don't find out, okay? And then you have the Hermit card. So I'm feeling like um, someone has turned their back on you and that's what made you realize that something was going on, okay? Because, you know, somebody started acting weird, somebody started acting strange, somebody's not acting themselves and you're like, okay, why the switch up? Why the change? Like, what do you have going on? Like, what are you hiding, okay? And I'm feeling like, you know, this has caused you to put a guard up okay and with this hermit card some of you could be dealing with a virgo because this is the virgo card um but if not someone has definitely turned their back on you and it's causing you to act like the nine of wands so now you feel like your guard has to go up because you're trying to prevent yourself from being hurt okay um in this situation and it's like you still love this person i'm feeling like libras but you're like um you know, let me keep my guard up and let me protect my heart, um, you know, and my feelings until I find out what's going on in this situation. Because I'm feeling like for some of you with the eight of pentacles being here and in reverse, you know, you're coming to the realization that you don't want to work on this situation anymore. You don't want to work on this relationship. It's too hard. It's too much. Um, the person acts like they don't want to be here. Okay. So you may be dealing with someone who comes and runs in and out of your life. Okay, one minute they're with you and everything is fine. And the next minute there's an issue and you don't even know what the damn issue is. And then when you contact them or try to contact them, you can't even get in contact with them to find out what the issue is. So you're like, this is too much. Somebody's playing mind games. Okay. And Luno, you know, with the eight of pentacles in reverse, you're no longer willing to work on this relationship. Like you're just coming to, um, like I said, you're coming to a realization like, you know, I have better things to do with my time. And if you're going to play games and you can just go about your business, okay? Um, you also have the Six of Swords, which is thinking about moving away from a turbulent situation. And then you have the Eight of Cups. Some of you are really ready to walk away from this person. I'm feeling like you've tried to give it your all. Okay, you've tried to talk to them, you've tried to um, do things different so that things would work out, but you know, it's just not working out the way that you've planned. And you may be feeling like with this Eight of Cups that you may have to walk away from this situation. And like I said, some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Okay, 
Now, you do have the Tower card here. So I'm showing for some of you that something happened, something unexpected happened, um, something chaotic, something destructive, okay? Maybe you have the rug snatched from underneath your feet. You didn't see it coming, okay, with this um, Tower card. And I'm feeling like whatever it was, Libra, you were meant to find this out. So if you found out somebody was cheating or somebody was lying or stealing or anything um, to that sort, it was meant for you to find this out. But now, since you found it out, you have the hangman here. So what do you want to do about the situation? Because I'm just feeling like some of you are still hanging on to this partner, okay? You're hanging on to this partner. Um, you're irritated and you're, you're aggravated. You're mad, you're angry, you're everything about what you found out per the tower card, okay? Whatever happened. And you're like, okay, so what am I going to do? Are you going to hang on to the situation or you want to move forward and move away from it? Okay, but you're not really sure. All you know is per the five of cups that you can't get past what they did. You're trying. I'm feeling like you're really trying, Libra. Okay, but whatever this person did to you is really hard for you to accept it and move on. And I'm not saying that you should, um, but also you know you may have to make some type of move because you're going to be stuck like the hangman i'm feeling like this hangman is here major arcana you have two major arcanas here the tower and the hangman so it's like something happened and now you're feeling stuck in this situation and you don't know how to move on and i'm feeling like it's all based upon this five of cups you're not being able to move past whatever this person did to you okay but now um i do see some changes ahead Okay, because with all of this chaos and destruction and you being stuck in one place and not being able to move on, you do have the Six of Cups here. So I'm feeling like there's going to be a change of heart for some of you. Okay, and the reason why I say that is because you have the Six of Cups, which is the nostalgia card, thinking about something from your past or thinking about maybe when you met this person and you're just not ready to let go of them. You think about all the history you guys had together. Okay, and then the next card you have after that is the two of cups so it's like this reading takes a turn of events okay because you had the tower card something happened here okay something i'm feeling like something that needed to happen and then i'm feeling like you guys get back to a good space okay um both of you may come together and realize that you don't want to be apart that you want to try to make things work out per the six of cups and the two of cups okay and the next card that I have for you is the Ace of Wands. So there's finally some clarity at the end of a turbulent, toxic um, situation that you were going through that you probably never thought would um, change or turn around, okay, for the better. Because you have the Ace of Wands and then you have the Ace of Cups. Like, you can't get no better than that, Libra. Like, especially after going through whatever you went through. Okay, so for those of you that are going through something, I'm just feeling like these cards are here to tell you to hang on. Okay, hang on. Um, you know, try to heal yourself. Try to move past whatever it is for this Five of Cups that's bothering you. And there is light on the other side of the situation, okay? Because like I said, you have the Ace of Wands here, which speaks of clarity. And then you have the Ace of Cups, which symbolizes a new beginning. Okay, so um, this was pretty good. I mean, you know, it was kind of rocky and turbulent in the beginning because you, you had to go through something. But I'm feeling like whatever you went through, you had to go through that and maybe it had to end or it had to take go through that cycle that you went through in order for things to come out right. Okay, in order for you two to realize that you really want to make things work or you really want to try again um, to be with each other. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for your reading, Libra, for your bonus reading for March 2018. I want to thank everyone um, who ordered a private reading. I really appreciate it. I also want to tell you guys that I am now on Instant Go. Um, so if you have a question that you want answered, you can reach out to me there. Okay, and I will see you guys next month. Bye.